It's a beautiful day here at Coco Marina, south of Houma, Louisiana, and we're here to build Duncan's Reef, a brand new project, uh, a partnership between CCA Louisiana, the Department of Wildlife and Fisheries, our brand new partners from Woodside Energy, and quite a few others, uh, in honor of uh, Duncan Prentice, who passed away tragically about a year ago. We're here to build this brand new reef in his honor and remember his legacy. Thank you for this. It just means so much to our family. Um, as a parent, you always know, you always think your child is an amazing person, but to see this and this dedication just means so much to our family. And and if, like Derek said, um, we were, the last couple of months while he was working, I never seen the passion. I was just so proud of him and I just knew that he loved what he was doing. And that's really all a parent can really ask for. So, um, we're grateful for the opportunity from Dan Oss for him to be part of this project. And it's kind of typical how Louisiana works, how one little person can bind so many people and make such an impact. And I, I hope that legacy lives on and um, I hope it's one of the best reefs to fish over and uh, we look forward to it. So thank y'all very much. We're using 3D printed concrete from our friends at Natrix, uh, being installed by uh, our partners at Danos. It's going to be a, the biggest reef we've ever built, 850 individual units of this 3D printed concrete in a relatively shallow area south of Cocodri here that's very popular for fishermen, uh, but has been degraded over the years by erosion and the loss of oyster reefs and so on. We're going to rebuild that reef using this new technology, this 3D printed technology. Uh, we're really excited and hopefully it'll be a way to remember Duncan uh, you know and his, and his commitment to our coast each one of these units goes in a very specific area it's all mapped out we put it on a, a matrix and we we grid it all out and so it's not just thrown in the water uh, the barge will be you know a large industrial piece of machinery uh, each piece is put down in individually uh, it's a very industrial project pro, uh, process uh, being headed up again by our friends at uh, Dan Oss and, and their partners uh, and so we'll see it when we're out on the water uh, it, it warms my heart to see it because it's the result of a lot of work by a lot of people and today it's extra special because we're, we're honoring Duncan. This is a, an old iconic spot south of Cocodri, kind of in between Cocodri and Dulac that fishermen from all over used to target but has slowly washed away and so with the helps of Dan Oss and Woodside we're going to put a lot of structure back in the water. The program has been in, around for 30 years or so and we've built about 50 of these individual projects. What's crazy is how fast it is taking off now. We plan to have 40 completed just in the next two and a half years. So we will double the footprint of the program. So we're building them as fast as we can. Louisiana is famous for our fishing. It is the sportsman's paradise. Yes, that's what we call it, but so does everybody else. These marinas host people from all over the world and surely all over the country. And so having good fishing spots and a thriving ecosystem drives the entire economy down here on the coast. We're Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries. Uh, we're charged with managing the state's uh, natural resources when it comes to the stuff in the water and the stuff that's, that we, we hunt and fish and all the animals and, and the fish. And uh, this is really, really a neat program that we're involved in. It's the artificial reef program, uh, one of many things that we do for fisheries for the state. And it involves mostly uh, putting uh, reefs or reef structures or structures in the water that uh, create fish habitat. And since we're losing a lot of fish habitat through natural means and other, other, other things, uh, it's critically important that we, we put more fish habitat in the water, creates places for people to fish and enjoy, enjoy their outdoors. It also provides habitat for the fish to, to spawn and to congregate and to, uh, to, do, to do the things that fish do. So I helped with the design, uh, layout, surveying, uh, and the post-construction surveying of, of, the, uh, of the facility. So we did all, basically all the engineering work associated with putting the, the reef in place and uh, documenting the as-built of it as we finish it and progress. Ironically, I was involved uh, years ago with some of the very first reefs that CCA put in. Uh, and so uh, I've been a lifelong resident of Terrebonne Parish, a lifelong fisherman, and ironically, one of the first places I've ever fished for speckled trout in Louisiana was at Baudouin's Point where this reef is going into place. So 
uh, very special, you know, kind of come full circle in life to giving back to what you were able to take as a young person here. Behind us, we're constructing the, the newest reef in Louisiana. This is at Baudouin's Point, which is south of Cocodri. It's a very popular fishing area, an area that's been devastated by coastal erosion and subsidence. And we're trying to rebuild some of these oyster reefs that are uh, disappeared with this permanent hard structure of this 3D printed concrete. So very soon, the marine organisms will attach to these 3D modules and start the food chain. Soon after that, the bait fish will come, and then the sport fish will come, and then the anglers will have a great destination to come fishing out of Cocoa Tree. Each of these modules is 18 inches high and 18 inches by three foot footprint. We're putting 850 of them here on about a four acre site. It's gonna take another couple of days to finish this construction. And when it's done, we're gonna have uh, the biggest reef the CCA Louisiana has done inshore. And it's gonna be great. And all our partners are here with us today. And it's just a great day for the fisheries. Not only is recreational fishing a big part of Louisiana's culture, it's also a huge economic impact on our coastline with marinas, charter fishermen, boat dealers, bait dealers. It just goes on and on and on. And in the private investments of our citizens having camps here on the coast. So this economic engine that we're, we're thriving down here is just dependent on this habitat. So we're so happy today to replace some of this habitat and we have many more projects coming up this year. So please stay tuned and visit our website at ccalouisiana.com. So we've got an amazing uh, uh, resource going into the habitat today. What you're looking at behind me is Cajun Coral Reef going in, Duncan's Reef being deployed. It's one of the largest, actually it is the largest reef we've ever done. And so we're really excited about being able to put this coral in the water for the namesake of Duncan, who actually worked on some of these modules and to create this, this fishing habitat and this community resource for people to use here. Really exciting stuff. We're actually gonna put the reef in the water today, or start to put the reef in the water. And uh, it's the largest Cajun coral reef that we've ever done. And so we're putting 850 Cajun coral modules in the water. It'll cover about 16,000 square feet of surface area. And what we're doing is we're recreating an island uh, that once existed as a fishing habitat and we're, we're gonna restore that fishing habitat through this reef installation so that we create a place where uh, fishermen and fisherwomen uh, can stop and, and catch fish uh, and start to restore that habitat. Tell us about the technology that led us to this point. So what we're doing today is we're putting in a product called Cajun Coral. Cajun Coral uh, is, a, is a technology that uh, comes from a company called Natrix. And Danos has partnered with Natrix. And so Danos does the operational installation and the fabrication of this product. It's a really neat process. We fabricate these modules on site at our facility in Amelia, Louisiana, uh, through an injection process. So it's an injection uh, dry forming process where we build each one of these units specifically uh, to the, the, the environment uh, that we want to build, the size, the environment, and so we can manipulate any, any number of factors to build these units, and then we can go out and deploy them and put them in the water so they're lighter, they're faster to build, they're cheaper, and they create great habitat. I love the idea of our, of our community coming together. It's a special reef because we're celebrating uh, and remembering uh, a young man who worked for us named Duncan Prentice. And, and this is why we call it Duncan's Reef. And so Duncan actually fabricated some of the modules that we're gonna put in the water today. So we're doing this in memory of Duncan, uh, in honor of the work that he did, saving our coast and creating an environment for, for generations of people to enjoy. Natrix is a technology company. We provided the, the, the vision and the technology to produce uh, the exoforms that you, that you see behind me, the, the Cajun coral. So this is, this is just beautiful. We're gonna create thousands and thousands of feet of new habitat. Uh, we laid it out just right to, to attract bait fish with a uh, speckled trout set up on top of this. Uh, this is this is so exciting because we started off uh, with an idea and a garage prototype and we brought it all together and now we're scaling and we're doing this all over the world. It is really interesting to see the work that Prentice Duncan and uh, the Danos and Matrix uh, organization have put together to be able to build this Cajun corals and have them drop into um, the bayou here, uh, the Gulf of America here, to create the reef for uh, anglers to be able to come fish over here. Um, this, this was a concept that was developed, uh, but with the technology and 3D printing, we've seen this come to fruition over here. So it's uh, really, really interesting to see this uh, being installed. 
Also, we want to use the opportunity to thank our partners, uh, CCA, uh, as well as Danos, as well as Datrix, for the collaboration that we've been able to do together to make this happen today. What matters to the community matters to Woodside. And it's important for us to invest in the communities that our people live in and work in, right? We have a number of our offshore operators and the people that live in the state of Louisiana live in this part of the, uh, in, in southern Louisiana. We know they love to fish and we know that by being involved in building this uh, artificial coral reefs, it's going to enable the fishing uh, and angling uh, business here as well. One important thing that we decided to be part of is also about print, uh, Duncan Prentice. You know, the values that Duncan and, and his interest in trying to build and restore this community in terms of the coastal restoration project, that is something that is important for Woodside and in, and, and in building and sustaining the environments that we live and work in. So that's part of the reason that we invest, uh, we supported this project here. This is just something that, this is an area I fish in, and everybody I know, you know, fishes in and around these areas. Uh, and you just look at what it means for both, not only uh, recreation, but commercial fishing. You know, one of the stories I like to talk about with all the man-made stuff that's in the Gulf, that the Gulf of America produces 70% of the nation's reef fish. So, you know, whether, again, you're, you're catching commercially, you're catching recreationally, uh, this is what we do in South Louisiana. We come out and fish to areas like this, and. Uh, anytime there's a conversation about a reef being built or something being taken away, uh, the, the fishermen feel that impact right away. Yeah, the Coastal Conservation Association of Louisiana, we've been around more than 40 years in Louisiana. Uh, we uh, are the voice for the recreational anglers in Louisiana, but more recently, in the last decade especially, we've really gotten into this habitat reconstruction business. We've built, this is something like 55 individual reefs across the state of Louisiana, everywhere from the east coast to the west. Uh, today we're kind of right in the middle of the state building this project. Uh, we have 20,000 plus members across the state and 30 chapters uh, and we truly uh, sort of pride ourselves in in being that voice for recreational anglers uh, when when it's needed we're just um, I tell you what we're really proud to be a part of this there's a lot of community resources and organizations that have come together to do this and it's it's amazing what what can happen when a community and organizations consolidate around a purpose. And our purpose here is twofold. Number one is to create a habitat and a resource for the community to use, and it's to celebrate the life of a young man who is passionate about his community and poured his life into this resource. And so to me, that is the most fulfilling thing that we can do as an employer and, and as a participant in this community. Oh, it's just wonderful. I've been a member of CCA uh, my whole life, a board member uh, here at the local level and at the state level. and. Uh, it's just wonderful what they're doing uh, to give back to the community here. Uh, you know, Louisiana is a sportsman's paradise, and it wouldn't be that way if we didn't have CCA really on the ball and protecting our coastal waters like they do. Everybody should become a member of CCA. We uh, we we are open door policy. Anybody that would like to can be a member. Uh, it's a very affordable membership at only $35. We have uh, all the way from the, the oldest of the old down to very young children become members of CCA and it is a way for you to have a voice in the room, uh, to have a stake in our coast, to give back uh, to a coast that so badly needs it. Look, this wouldn't be possible without our members. That is a way not only that we can fund projects like this, but also we can educate the public on what's going on. So go to CCALouisiana.com, join today. Go to CCALouisiana.com, you go right at the top of the page, you can get all the information you need, or uh, go ahead and click the button and, be and become a member. Uh, very quick and easy, and we hope you will.